The Content Ticker add-on is a great way to highlight information such as news and events or special offers on your website. You can create scrolling content, horizontal or vertical, and fully customize it and place it on your website. So let's take a look uh, on how you can create a Content Ticker add-on on your own site. Depending on whether you use the Site Builder or the HTML Editor service of Easy Web Content, uh, there are different ways that you place the add-on onto your pages. If you're in the Site Builder, you will locate all the add-ons under Content, Goodies, EWC Add-ons, and you can drag and drop the content ticker, in this case called a banner, onto your website. In the case of the HTML editor, you would find the add-ons under the add-ons and widgets. You will place your cursor into the area of the page that you want to insert, and you will click on the content ticker. Now in this case, there are a few add-ons for the content ticker that have been created. So I can go ahead and click on the content ticker, the, my new ticker, and I can insert it to my page. And this will automatically be inserted to my page. And if I go and preview the page, I will be able to see the add-on. And so I can see the add-on place onto my page as I'm previewing. So let's go ahead and create a new content ticker. So what I can do is place my cursor in the area that I want to insert. Again, click on the content ticker. I can enter a new name for my ticker. In this case, I will call it my new ticker. And I will click continue. And now I have the interface for the content ticker manager. I have a couple template options. I can choose from a horizontal setup or I can choose on a vertical setup. In this case, I want to go ahead and create a horizontal. So I'm going to click on this option, and then I will click on select this template. And now I have a default setting that's presented to me. And notice on the right side, I can fully customize the size of my uh, scrolling area. In this case, I'm going to leave it at the 600 pixels wide by the 70 pixels. Uh, the preview here is on the left, and on the right side, I have all the widgets and gadgets that I can use to fully customize this add-on for my uh, website. This is Everything has to do with the design and the look and feel of the option. Uh, there are a number of preset options for the color scheme, so I can select from it and quickly switch to uh, a chrome look. Metal, gold, pastel, there is uh, a number of different options and I can scroll down further and I can actually customize it specific to my needs. So I can add a default background if I need to. I can change the background color. So let's say in this case I'm going to select a just a random uh, color here. It's actually a little pink. It probably won't go f fit this site but I will use it either way just to show you the look and feel. Uh, I could even add transparency uh, so that the background can show through if I needed to. You can also incorporate custom backgrounds and in that case you can actually upload your own uh, background to the page. So let's go ahead further down. Uh, there are background color options for the headlines so I could update that if I needed to. Um, I can go ahead and change the font color for the header styles. So right now it doesn't fit right with the black background. So I will switch to a lighter color here. Um, and I will let's see, let's pick a darker color. Um, at the same time, the header is too small, it's tiny. So I'm going to switch to a larger size. So as you can see, there is a number of different options here. You can even control the speed. So at the moment, the font is Arial for the style. I will leave it at that. Um, and there is a pause of two seconds. I'm going to increase that to three seconds. So when it reaches the next item, it will pause for about three seconds. Uh, I could even choose and modify the direction. So instead of going right to left, I could have it go left to right. Um, I'm going to just leave it at the right to left, which is a pretty standard uh, scrolling method of, of course, English text. 
going back to the top so I will now go ahead and click on the populate ticker tab this is where you populate in other words add content for the ticker because right now uh, in the preview mode you're just looking at default content so I will go ahead and create a new posting I will add a title say Apple launches the new iPad 2 I can associate a link to that uh, text so if somebody clicked on it they can leave the page I can even have them if click go to a new window have an option for a thumbnail I'm just going to create text based items here so I will click submit and it's already added it your recently added option shows in red I will create another new posting say Google launches the OnePlus social media service I will add a link for this one submit and there's my newest option so I will go ahead and add a couple more items so you can see what it will look like okay so I've got three options here items added in if I need to I can even change the order so I can move one up I can move another option up so you can modify the order and now I'm ready to publish the ticker so I go to the publish tab this is already published the item to uh, to my account but I need to insert it to my page so by clicking insert update to page this will go ahead and insert a ticker onto my web page going to the customized design to modify the design of the add-on a little bit I will select the custom size and I'm going to increase it from 600 to 600 let's say 75 pixels and I will leave the height as is click go and now it has added some width to my add-on also I'm not really happy with this background color uh, it's too pink it doesn't fit the site so I will switch to a white color and also what I will do is scroll down and add a tiny border and the border size I'm going to reduce it to just a slight one and I'm going to go back to the publish ticker save the changes and I'm going to insert update to my page again so there it is now it is placed on my page I'm going to preview the page again and there is my banner it's a wider height I've added a tiny border around it so it looks a little bit better into the page of course I can keep going back and forth and adjust the design until I'm quite happy with it and uh, place it into my site and once I'm done I can publish or save my page and that's just an overview of the content ticker add-on. Of course, you can go ahead and use additional add-ons that are available within the system, and there are additional videos available for each one. Thank you.